Hello, it's Christmas time, and you know that means I got something on my sleeve. So, let's get to it. I want to take a second and thank everyone for making 2016 so awesome for me. It's been really neat getting to work with some of you guys and to push each other on our home automation adventures. So, thank you for that. Because of that, I want to do two things for you guys. First, to get into the holiday spirit, I'm doing a giveaway. Two, actually. Up for grabs is a Google Home with a LifeX Plus bulb. You guys know I love the Google Home. It's awesome. I haven't talked about the LifeX Plus bulb yet, but this thing is super cool. It can do RGB LEDs and even infrared for your security camera. It's neat. The second prize up for grabs, Christmas tree, come on. Aha. The second prize up for grabs is a Amazon Echo Dot and another LifeX Plus bulb. I know my Google Home versus the Amazon Echo Dot video got a little bit of flack, and I know people feel passionately about which device is best. So, just so you guys know, I like them both. So, hence the second prize. All you have to do for your chance to get one is just to share this video. The second thing I want to do is to share my Christmas tree with you guys. A bruh family Christmas tree, if you will. There's no better time of the year than the holiday season to show off your home automation chops to your friends and family. So, I threw this tree together to show you guys what you can do with just a little bit of home automation. The first thing I did is I 3D printed a whole bunch of different decorations for my Christmas tree. If you haven't figured this out yet, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so you know how to get some of that on my tree. I found the STL files on Thingiverse, which I linked below, and then I printed them out and spray painted them, and I think they turned out great. Then I busted out my Sadder Than Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, got out my Wemo Insight and my Sonoff MQTT outlets, and then I plugged the dumb lights into those devices. Of course, you guys know I had to top it off with some digital LED strips, just like I put on my porch last week, and I was done. The full details of the setup can be found on the GitHub page I made for the tree, which I also linked below. And speaking of, this tree is yours to control. I created a separate Home Assistant instance, and I linked that below in the video description. So you can hop on that and then control the tree. I created a YouTube live stream so you can see the tree when you change things. I'm not sure how the latency and all this is gonna work out, but we're going for it. I'm gonna try and keep this tree going at least through Christmas, or until I lose my mind sitting in a room with those relays. Cause they're not that quiet, but that's okay. Enjoy it. Anyway, I think that's about it for now. Be sure to share this video if you're interested in winning any of these prizes. Oh. Maybe not that one because it just broke. Oh yeah, that YouTube live stream has a chat room in it. And I'm gonna try and spend some time in there. So if you wanna chat in real time, look for me in there. And with that, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And until next time, happy automating. Cheers.